Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here. Good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. Another beautiful day here over at the property and we got a lot of stuff going on that I want to show you guys. Uh, we're going to be building our pallet racking today. We're getting the equipment cold started today. Uh, we're getting ready for spring cleanups this next week. There's a lot to do as you guys can imagine get ready for the spring rush. While the guys are here, I'm going to be inside the uh, camper working, uh, sending out all of our bids and quotes and estimates with LMN. Uh, it's a good old fashioned work day here at the Fullerton property. Um, right now, all the equipment is getting consolidated. That's what we've been trying to do. Uh, we have this lev rack pallet racking that I want to show you guys that we invested in. That was a, uh, a pretty penny as you guys uh, might research or check out. Some really cool stuff. Uh, basically, I built it for the inside of the barn or I bought it for the inside of the barn. And then we've got two cubbies that are with it based on the system that uh, they designed and built for us. Um, again, definitely a pretty investment, but the idea is to take the winter equipment uh, and post it up in the summer on the racks. Take the summer equipment, post it up in the winter, uh, so we have a little bit more storage, a little bit more space. So that's why we uh, scooped that up. Long term, would love to get a, uh, a stacker or a forklift. I know it sounds weird, but your uh, you know your dreams and goals change in your 30s, right? Uh, it used to be, I want a Lamborghini. Now you're like, man, I want a forklift. <laughs> what like? This is the funniest, weirdest thing, right? Uh, in between all this, uh, at the end of the day, Mark is going to be taking uh, the newest truck up to the car wash to get it all washed, cleaned up, get the uh, plow washed and cleaned up, because um, we're going to be putting them all into the barn for storage. Uh, I got to drop the snow power. Rob's got to drop uh, that boss plow on his truck as well. Uh, so, a lot to do. All right, hope you guys are doing well. Let's uh, go inside the barn and we'll see what's going on. Whoa. Look at wow. that. Hey, you want to see something crazy? Always. Always. No, no, no. Those are pruners. Oh, well, let me answer that. No. Oh, That's the only thing I would do. Let me see those. No. I'm sorry, Echo. Don't sue me. What a shame. <laughs> well, it's good to well, here, here, test. Here, <laughs> Why let's see if your Milwaukee could do it then. Were they doing it? No. They weren't doing it? No. Well, I don't have any tin snips, so those aren't going to do it. So I guess the Echo's where it's at. Oh. <laughs> there goes a $20 carbon blade. Oh. You want me to cover it? Since, Mark, you're, since you're building all this, I will cover this. Mark Bradley said there's a skill gap. If you want to make more money, there's a skill gap. This is the skill gap. <laughs> If you don't know. I don't know if this is a skill gap or a user error. <laughs> oh, the poor carbon blade. No, whatever. It's like a $20 tool. Who cares? Yeah. That is funny though. Hey, if we don't have any other tool to get it done, uh, then we'll make it, a tool. We'll make a tool, right? <laughs> hey, this is actually really cool. I bought a uh, trash bucket. I know very few people probably care about this, but hey, you know, 20, 30 bucks and we can leave it here and start sweeping up everything here at the barn. You know, why not? All right. So here's what we got. Clear. This is the uh, first part of the delivery for the pallet racking. I'm not sure what's in there, admittedly. That might be the workbench. Uh, these are those big cubbies and cabinets. I'll try to uh, show you guys a photo, if I can, about uh, what it's going to look like as a finished product. But here you go, Levrack, L-E-V-R-A-C-K. If you guys haven't uh, seen them, check it out. Really, really cool stuff. So this is the two cubbies that will be our cabinet system. These are the two cabinets. So we should have a cabinet, a cabinet, a uh, workbench, workbench, and then eight feet high, we should have pallet racking all the way across, and then at 12 feet high, have it all the way up top. <clears throat> so we've got the 12 foot high sections here, as you guys can see. And then this is the uh, grate that all the uh, equipment can lay on and rest on at the uh, eight foot section and the 12 foot section, if I'm not mistaken, or at least this is a portion of it. I don't know. Uh, we got, it should be four feet deep. We got I don't the, know. No, uh, shoot it this way. That's the oh. 48 inch stuff. Yep, there you go. I don't know. The 44 inch? We shall see. <laughs> We're gonna see how it all goes together, right? <laughs> Little barn update if you guys haven't seen. We got the lights in here. I got a video I'm gonna shoot. Uh, forget the brand, I think it was Hyperlight. We got some lights from those guys and uh, looking pretty good. This is all of our personal stuff that was in our personal uh, storage pod, right? We emptied all that out here. The uh, crazy thing is that storage pod was like 250 bucks a month. And then I had a storage unit for all like my big clunky workout stuff upstairs, which I'll show you. And that was like 250 bucks a month. 
So like, that was 500 bucks a month just going out the door. Right now we have four storage lockers still for the business back at the uh, storage place. And each unit's like 140 to like 180 or 175 a month. Uh, so that's like another 700, 800 bucks a month in, um, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Jeez, my brain's fried, sorry, it's early in the morning. Uh, rental fees. So it's like, I'm paying 12, 1300 bucks just for storage. So the pallet racking, even if it's, you know, 15 grand here, uh, in the barn, you know, is a huge investment there. Like, you know, renting has been a miracle for Liz and I. We, we're big renter people, but at the same point, uh, it's nice to just bring all that in the house. The pallet racking will save uh, the cost of all my rental in just its first year, right? Uh, not counting the efficiency gains, having equipment here on site, and having more capacity in general, right? So uh, let me show you guys this. Uh, this is what was in our previous uh, apartment, 1,400 square foot apartment. We were just tripping over ourselves. That's all this. So eventually this will all go in the house uh, here in the next month or two, about three months actually. So there you have it. And just a little update, that's our leaf box. That's our uh, cabinet where we have all of our stickers. Guys, send me your stickers to our P.O. box. Uh, we got scrap wood here, and this is our bed frame with like the motorized bed. That's our uh, dining table, which we'll set up for the new house. And then I'll show you guys dry storage. This is all actually coming together. This is going to get, um, what's it called? Like the, uh, hey, would you guys know what that wall stuff is called? Like in a McDonald's, like the white, clear plastic stuff, like RF. No, it's like, it's like that, but it's like RPF or RFP. Um, MDF. MDF. I think it's called MDF wall. Actually, I don't know if it's called MDF. I think that's the base trim in my house on the basement and the upstairs. Pulling stuff out of my butt. Um, yeah, I think it's called like, you guys know what I'm talking about. You go into a McDonald's, it's all like the white um, laminate kind of drywall, if you will. Uh, we're putting all that in the dry storage and then also the bathroom because it's super... Uh, efficient, super rugged, and it's hard for that stuff to really get dirty. So they're gonna drywall this and then put that on top. All this is gonna uh, get plywood here in the next week, week and a half, now that all of our rough is done. Once this is all plywood, uh, we've got guys to hang our cabinets. They're gonna put all of our cabinets together. These are from um, New Age. New Age cabinets, about 10 grand worth of cabinets here. And this huge stack of cabinets here which is gonna be awesome. All this is gonna get plywood, and then we're gonna get a new, uh, kind of like a veneer for the header. Paint all this black, the undercarriage will be black, the back walls will be black, and uh, it's gonna look really sharp. Bathroom's coming together too, they just framed out the tub and shower. Vanity goes here. We've got uh, the commode, it's gonna go here. All this will be drywalled and then that same uh, plastic uh, uh, RFP or whatever it's called. Tub shower, and then this will be utility. I believe we're gonna have a boiler uh, suspended or somewhere around here for the, uh, the hot water. All right, so let me show you guys upstairs really quick if you haven't got the uh, full tour. And uh, this is a dream come true, so uh, if I'm showing this a little too much, I apologize, but you know, 10, 20 years in the making. So here's the, uh, the workout situation. Excited about this. Hey, can you guys hit those lights at the bottom of this for me? If you don't mind, there should be a switch. The white and red box? Uh, I, one on the hallway. <coughs> Ryan, turn on those lights for me. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> All right, so we've got a rogue equipment rack. Super excited about putting this to work. We've got a rower. We've got the Airdyne. Liz wants the Peloton set up. And then I just purchased this thing, uh, Black Friday. Knocked like two grand off this thing, this is awesome. It's the Jacked Up Fitness cable crossover machine, right? So, super excited about getting back in the shape and working out. And then we've got our uh, dumbbells that you can adjust for the different uh, weight. So this is a huge dream come true. I, I know this all looks super expensive, everybody's been saying, you're working out of storage lockers and you know, you may even make an even money and it's like, dude, we're just saving money for like the last four years. Huge down payment on the house, paid off the land, cash flow of the barn, cash flow of this, cash flow of the pallet racking. Admittedly, I'm back to being broke. <laughs> We've totally emptied the bank account the last 18 months. But, uh, 
I'll pay cash for all this. Uh, and it's not just the YouTube millions. Uh, I wish I got the YouTube millions, I really do. Some of those guys that do mow tall grass fields make 100 grand a month. Doing it for free, yeah, I do it for free too. All right, let me show you guys uh, some racking here. I think you guys, you know, it's cool just to check out. And it's all temporary. I mean, we can always adjust this or move it if we need to, but there you go. And uh, I got a sweep. I got a mop. Things you never would have thought about, right? I'm going to clean all this up from all the electricians and uh, contractors. This right here, by the way, gas pipe, all the way up. It's all we could do, right? It goes all the way down. And then we've got our heaters in the corner. There you go. I think 75,000 BTU, uh, two heaters. Keeps this thing at 50 degrees with uh, pretty minimal effort. And uh, probably cost me about 100, 200 bucks a month to heat this place. All right, let's go back down and uh, see what kind of progress we got on the racking. And uh, Rob will be here in a minute with the enclosed trailer and we'll uh, get some cold starts going too. All right, you guys good? Yes, sir. No. There you go. No. <laughs> look at this. Black finish. That's nice. This is going to look really good. Yeah, I'm pumped. Hey, are you forklift certified? I am. Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally going to make this up. up. No. <laughs> That's funny right there. No, no, no. Explain the forklift certified joke. Come on. No, no, no. Right. Keep it Disney. Keep it Disney. I don't, I don't know what you guys are saying. All right, so uh, here's... These don't look like all the cross beams, if I'm not mistaken. So that'll be cool. I think... I don't know if these are seven foot or eight foot sections, but... Uh, Do we have a... Uh, Paperwork or a schematic? No, I was gonna say there's nothing, I think. Is but, there any uh, instructions? Not yet, no. <laughs> well, I'm sure they're here somewhere. Uh, and if not, I'll, uh, I'll find that paperwork so I can show you guys our design. Because uh, as long as you know the brand, you can find it. Yeah, no, I got you. It shouldn't be that hard. All right, well, uh, give me a quick second here. Rob will probably be back uh, in the next 20 minutes and uh, we'll transition, do some cold starts. <sighs> Man, we got a lot to do, folks. I gotta admit, I'm feeling pretty overwhelmed. Uh, Liz and I, if you guys didn't see our other video, we're sick for like three and a half weeks with pink eye for like 10, 12 days and then some respiratory cough. It's, it's just been brutal. Finally getting our legs back underneath us. We've kind of turned a quarter last uh, day or two. I still have this kind of lingering cough when I talk too much. Uh, it's probably my cue to stop talking, but uh, that being said, we have a lot to uh, onboard, a lot to ramp up on. I've got 80 residentials I still got to send quotes out to, 30 or so commercials I still got to send out renewals to. Uh, dude, it's just going to be, the uh, next two weeks are going to be wild. Uh, and then next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, go figure, I'm out of town for three days going to uh, a Crest event, uh, Crest Battery Equipment, which is going to be pretty cool, hang out with some guys there. So, never dull moment, right? By the way, here's that uh, cabinet. Send me your stickers, if you guys haven't. I still got plenty of room on this wall and uh, plenty of room on the other side. That's The other side's empty. So, uh, if you guys haven't sent me your sticker yet, please do. If you guys have me, uh, if you guys haven't sent your stickers yet, please do. Definitely landscaper, Jake's lawn care. Uh, so many guys that you know, errands, buzz cuts. See the name, call the number. Hey Mitchell, Mitchell Gordy's old logo and lawn care. We got uh, fence armor, scout. What else we got? Gibson mowing. There you go. All right, let's keep it going. All right, really quick, these guys are uh, pulling it off. There you go. Woo -wee. All right, so we got some more. Wow, that's loaded up. All right, so not really sure where we're at in this video here, but one estimate later, one podcast later, uh, one lunch later, bought the guys lunch and us some pizza. And then here's the rig, man, it looks beautiful. Let me flip this around really quick. So, so the thing that stinks about our property is that it's all freaking muddy. And in about another month or two, the exterior water will be hooked up and uh, running for the house so I can get a power washer. All this eventually has to get concreted. Lord knows how much that's gonna cost. But uh, then we can actually not uh, have muddy tires anymore as my guys come and visit, uh, you know, or pick up the trucks. Ryan had the dip. Um, he had to get going. He had uh, something going on this afternoon. So Mark and Ryan are in here. Let's go see the progress they've made on that slub rack. Hey, one thing I was going to show you guys is uh, these are the new Cujo boots. Uh, these are the Surge rubber boots. So if you guys know like muck boots or whatnot, uh, you can check these out. I think they're available for pre-order. Uh, I did get a early uh, sample piece sent to us 
from Cujo. So the thing with these that are different is the tread. It's hard for me to show you, but it's a very aggressive tread on the bottom where the mucks are pretty smooth. So anyway, this is the new Surge boot, slip on, rubber sole. It's all rubber, it's waterproof. So if any of you guys that do like uh, fertilization or weed control, you know, pesticide, this will be a good boot. You got that uh, breathable material here and just little loops to pull on tight. So I've been wearing these around the property because again, look how muddy it is, it never ends. So check out the Surge boot while you guys are getting your Spring Rush Cujos ordered up or your Jags. Oh, whoa, look at this. Wow. Making some progress. Kind of. That looks sweet, dude. Pick things up, I put them down. You pick them up, put them down? Oh, hey, you even got it cleared from the uh, heater. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Dude, that looks awesome. Check that out. All right, okay. All right, okay. Uh, what are we debating on for hanging? What, what are you guys thinking? Do you want to drop that down another? Uh, uh, we've already dropped it down a couple. We thought we probably didn't want to go too much lower down. Okay. Base, base, one more down, you might be able to touch the more less. If it goes down one more, you're saying we might not have clearance? Well, yeah, like an inch more or less. Yeah. I might drop it down one more though. <laughs> That's what we thought. <laughs> Sorry. Of course. I hate It'll to work. say it. It's fine. It doesn't look awful, but no, uh, it no, kind of looks terrible. like it looks like folks that were like flood pants. You know, they got, they got their ankle showing. You know, I don't want to have flood pants. Uh... Well, real quick, before hold on, hold on, before you zip, what 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 is going on here? You're we don't know. You don't know. We we don't know. We're trying to figure it out. This is where we got to. We're at a standstill. We can't do much more. Why? Um. He's, uh... We still got to figure out some other details. You said that they might have sent some wrong parts? We don't know. We don't know? These guys are supposed to go on the bottom. Okay. Of these, it's saying. So these are supposed to be like the spanning parts that, you know, go across. Ooh. Like it's supposed to fit in. And it's supposed to fit on here, not on even left. the outside ones. So it's supposed to be in like that, but look it. You oh. can't push it out, you can't bow it like that. I wonder if there's like different depth to the cabinets and maybe we got the wrong depth or the wrong bars, you know? I'll shoot him an email, we'll see what's going on. That's um, the only, yeah, we just don't know because we've looked through both of them and through yeah. all the boxes and they're all the same. That's These are just the only pieces that don't That don't line fit, up. Yeah, with the way the instructions say. Well, that would only be for the bottom, right? No, well, no, it goes to like each, like you get like four or five of those in here, right? So okay. it goes in between each middle part. Oh. And then you set the actual shelf on top of it. Oh. But that's what we were kind of like in the pickle. We're like, I don't know if we're doing this wrong, but I don't know how else to really put together the shelf, more or less. Okay. Uh, well, let's uh, keep thinking. We'll figure it out. I'll shoot an email, see what's going on. But this looks fantastic. So this just suspends, right? Yeah. Does it look... Was this pretty hard to do or pretty easy? No, no, this stuff's pretty, pretty self, they're pretty good. It's just, this part slides and then just hook it in there and kind of adjust it, tighten it, where do you want it? Definitely probably a two person job though. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah because time. one guy's gotta hold it, one guy's gotta bolt it. Mm -hmm. How are you uh, able to adjust the height of the cabinet, Rob? Like how are you guys, is it just this rack? Yeah, we just have, yeah, we have to take these off, move, take this back off, move it down. Okay, I'll help you really quick. We can, we can, I got you. We'll uh, make some time on that. Cause I, I just feel like that's a little, Kind of flood paint ish, you know, like supporting about three inches off the ground. I'd rather probably have it hug. All right, so a little time lapse later here. Well, I wouldn't say a time lapse, but here's where we're at, folks. We've got the pallet racking that Mark and Rob absolutely crushed. Uh, Ryan was here, he had to dip a little bit ago. Looking good. Uh, we still got about another quarter, a third to go. We got to build all the cabinets here, build the cabinets there. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to go cold start the equipment. Uh, just so we're fired up and ready to go for next week and then uh, next week once we get a free day we're gonna have the guys finish up all the cabinets the idea really quick we're saving these pallets that the uh, lever rack came in they're at um, about 70 or 80 inches depending on which one and that'll fit in the eight foot section another eight foot section and the seven foot section once we trim one of these down so the idea is we're gonna take the cardboard drop the plows in the cardboard Eventually, once we have a forklift or a tractor, we'll put the plows on the pallets. The pallets will go on the pallet racking. That'll be freaking awesome. Uh, but super smart, saving these as well. Can't beat that. Well, we'll just need, let's just get one at a time because we're gonna just drop one. 
Oh, one point. Yeah, one pot of ten. Um, no, no, you're fine. You're fine. Just so it doesn't scrape up the concrete or get rusty, you know. Gotcha. There you go. That worked out super great. Talk about keeping the, some of the packaging that it came with. Uh, one other quick thing is it came with LED lights. So we've got some workbench lights that we ordered part of this kit. Truthfully, I ordered this like six to eight weeks ago, so I don't even know what I ordered. But I know I said, hey, if there's an opportunity to get lights underneath the workbench here, that'd be awesome. So here's our workbench table. Good working height. You got a snow blower or a mower that you got to work on or something. You know, this is solid metal, solid steel, which is awesome. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Let's go do a cold start on the engines and uh, let's keep it moving. Great job, you guys. Great job. Yeah, Seriously, yeah, I'm impressed. I can't believe we did this on one day. Uh, Big boy Legos. <laughs> Big boy Legos. What do you say, Rob? It's a little jungle gym. Yeah, one thing, <laughs> though, one, one thing that they forgot is a sticker, a Leverex sticker on one of the beams. We were trying to uh, do an inventory on all the beams, but looks like sticker, 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 and uh, it's all about the stickers for grown men, apparently. So, all right, no big deal. Let's uh, go throw out the trash. This pallet's uh, too long. Hey, we might be able to trim this one. No, that's what I was going to tell you. So that's say, why not? The same kind of scenario as that one. If you want it, we can just lopping it right here, lopping it down. Yeah, actually, we should do that. Yourself another pallet there. So, so let's keep that one too. You want to throw that inside? We'll just keep the fourth one. We don't have a fourth plow yet, though, Rob. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Good answer, bro. Keyword. Yes. Yet. All right. Here's uh probably about a third of the trash these guys have been making lanes to uh, our dumpster that's been on site so let's go get this thing washed and uh, cold start some equipment all right well we are bringing the plow in first plow here we go I didn't know we had uh, this many sheets so we'll just do two um, I think you should be good mark uh, go down slow uh, put it in straight point mode, like V mode, like back it up, because those wings kicked out. We're good. All right, go down slow. Yep. Yeah, you're good. You're good. All right, cool. All right, let's unhook this. Actually, here, who wants to be guinea pig? Who wants to show us how it's done? Because I've only done it once in my life. Training day. All right, so you're in float. Yes, sir. These scoops. Yep. Slide them out, right? Yep. Pop that. I'll get. I'll get your other one. I got you. Yeah. And then, uh, what did somebody say in that previous video? I think you should be able to just. As long as you're in float, I think you should be able to just kind of wiggle it, right? You should be able to. I think that's what somebody uh, told us. Uh, go down. Maybe other way. There it goes. Oh. Well, look at that. The internet teaches us something. Who would have thought? I'm just kidding. All right, now what's the biggest rookie mistake people do here? Don't switch it back to truck. Don't hop in the truck thinking you're disconnected and run away. Because well, everybody... The wires. So the wires. Dude, I, I'm telling you, the very first time I did that, uh, not only did I crack it on the boss, I cracked it on the snow power. Because... Also... Amateur. Don't forget the caps. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> no cap. No, I was going to say the only reason why I said that with the truck of plows because I unhooked it for like one day. Yep. I totally forgot to flip the, the power from the headlights back to the oh. truck instead of the plow. So I was like, why are the headlights why, not working? Why is it so dark? Lights or whatever. <laughs> why is it so dark? Yeah. I called Rob. I was like, what's wrong, man? Yeah. <laughs> because on my truck, you know, it's like right there, like just to the left of the steering wheel. And you can see it says like plow. And truck. Yeah, yeah. It's a little up. His is like in the steering wheel column and it's on the side of it. Oh. So like, you have to like get in there. Yep, yep. So here's our uh, first plow on the... Uh, cardboard a lot of you guys uh, suggested that thank you so much on that previous video uh, I know we dropped it that one time with the snow power and uh, a lot of you guys were like no don't drop it on your fresh concrete or get this epoxied by the way I had uh, epoxy quotes and you know dude it's 10 20 30 thousand bucks to do this stuff and I know you got your brother Rick they can do it for five thousand dollars but having it done right is important to me and uh, it's every bit of 10 20 grand guys come on I don't have money for that right now. Maybe one day. There you go. There's plow number one. All right, so we're going to do a cold start here. And then we're going to back the trailer up, put it in there, 
and then Rob's gonna turn his truck around, drop the plow, and then we're gonna try to get Mark and Rob to take the two trucks to go wash them off. Rob's truck's actually looking pretty minty, fresh, but uh, spray those tires down, or actually they don't have a hand wash one there, darn it. So maybe you can hit that at your house or something on the way home, he's got a coin wash one. Freaking mud, gotta love it. All right, what do we got here, by the way? We got the Z? We have the Z and the... Billy Goat? Billy Goat. Well, I'm not so worried about Cole starting the, the Billy Goat. Uh, will it start? You want to try? Because uh, usually we got a dead battery on it because we do only... Do you want to take any guesses? Because yeah. I don't think it is. <laughs> you think, think it's, it's dead? I think it's, I, I think it's going to try to turn over, but I don't think it's going to start. That's my bet. Yeah, that's where I'm at too. Like two wham wham. Like I'm not taking that bet. You get two wham whams? Yeah, like two wham wham and then stop. I'm going to get four wham whams. <laughs> You know, comment down below if you guys I'll have seen this video. Wham -wams because now I'm in Two, three, four. All right, comment down below how many wham whams. Nobody's gonna comment that. That's stupid. <laughs> Two, three, four. Hey, wake up. Hey. Oh, my God. Another trailer coming here next week. We're gonna be picking it up. We're gonna uh, update it and outdate it with uh, outfit with equipment defender racks, more leaf blowers. I gotta go put a couple thousand dollar order in. I'm sure with uh, Red Max at our dealer yeah. uh, or Echo, a little bit of both. I'm not gonna reveal what we got just yet, but I'll tell you guys, we're super pumped to get it. Hopefully this starts up. Yep. I sure hope so. Me too. If it starts up, Mark, let it run for like 30 seconds, but we don't have to pull it out. You should be good to go. Gotcha. Oh. Oh no. Well done. <laughs> that was like six. Six chicka jiggas. Well, let's get the billy goat. We'll jump it. You got the uh, jumpers? We'll jump with the billy goat. Usually it's the other way around. It is. That's, literally. That's ironic. Well, actually, do we have those uh, jump pads? Oh yeah. oh yeah. Well just grab the billy goat. Just grab the billy goat for now. He's hot. Watch those uh, ends. Oh. Yep. There you go. Chick, 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 chick. Good call. Thank you. Your dog. You got the positive one by the way, by the way. You're good. Oh, you're up front. I say you should have kicked it left. There you go. All right. It's like don't touch them right now. I know. <laughs> like yeah, he was, he was already out last spring for a couple of weeks. You ain't earning another one. <laughs> At least I wait till winter this year. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. All right, there's one. Positive to positive. <laughs> Black to metal. No, his hands like. It's like, you know, I'm going to not touch the metal right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 right? There you go. Uh, let's kick this on. So you can Say we uh, our screen's not doing so hot up there, <laughs> but uh, this thing is seven. What did I get this 2016? I think so, yeah. 16 or 17, dude. That's like seven, eight years. Yeah. Like, we're due, yeah, we're due. So, all right, well, they both fired up, they both started up. Uh, this is what we've got we got the Z, we've got the Billy Goat, we've got leaf blowers, uh, we have an X Mark Vertex X coming next week with a bagger, but it's not ready just yet. But uh, we'll try to get it next week. 
and we should be able to maybe even tote that around one and two. We'll see. But the billy goat's super helpful. So, mm -hmm. okay. and if anything, oh, we've got truck number two. We can always take uh, the Vertex X with the bagger uh, with the utility. Uh, utility, yep. You know, so maybe Ryan or Mark can drive truck and rig number two. We don't normally double up like that. That's why we need the 20 foot enclosed trailer. And then we'll be able to just have the one crew and the one rig. This is uh, 16 foot, it's been great, just so you guys know. Uh, but I would highly encourage you to check out an 18 or 20 footer thinking out loud moving forward because then you can get three units in here and at least two bagging units mm -hmm. and then maybe like a 36. Just... I was going to say that's been our problem if anything is that we try to have this guy up here we try to fit something else right back here but you're literally like just a couple Be inches yeah. from making it. It's like if we had an 18 at least yeah. it would have fit eight, for sure. 18 so. probably would do it. Mm -hmm. And for mulch when we did mulch and we had the two buckets on them you know it was like just that. Barely. Yeah, yeah, barely. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I remember that. Mulch that force and or even, or even the tractor. Oh, you know, yeah. We have put the tractor in here and it's really tight. So, yeah. all right, man. Well, that's all good to go. Uh, we will button this up, strap it all down, and uh, that's pretty much good to go. Looking good. Look at that. Ooh, shake and bake. Shake and bake. And uh, eventually we'll get a tractor or a forklift or a stacker, and then we'll get these on pallets. And then obviously we love to put these up here in the cubbies for the lever rack system, right? Boom, boom, boom. All right. And I gotta get my snowfar off, but we'll save that for another She's day. so naked. Naked. I haven't seen her like that in months. There you go. All right, well, uh, I think I'm gonna just end the video right here because these guys are headed out to go uh, wash your truck. <laughs> the second, second truck. Um, I don't even think you guys probably wanna see that being filmed. When it comes back, it's like, whoa, a clean wash truck. Who would've thought, but. Any which way, that's what we got. It's what? It's red, if you didn't know. It's You're a brown right truck right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Spend money for a dang minute. Um, but anyway, great job today. Thank you guys. Okay. Um, Monday, they're going to come back here, finish all the uh, hanging uh, cabinets, um, put the leaf box on. Yep. There was one other thing. Paint. And paint the leaf box, uh, give it a fresh paint, and then the double sidewall on the dump insert. Yeah, make sure it all looks good. What's that? I was just saying, I'll we'll probably end up doing that first when we get here. Try yeah. To make sure we paint them. That way they can dry while we're building the rack out. That's fair. And then put the box on after when it's all dried up. This guy's a thinker, man. I like sporting. to try to think. Yeah, That's I think. It's foreman. It's foreman, Rob. It's foreman <laughs> material. I, I think, but there's only one brain cell. Yeah, there's a quote that said, I can get, there's a business guy, I think he wrote it like uh, uh, Frank Betcher. He said, I can get anybody to do anything except for. Which is like think and do order, do things in order of their priority. <laughs> so I've always tried to teach the guys. I'm like, think ahead and freaking prioritize your time so you have a plan. Yeah. So that's a great plan. All right, that's the best plan that we got so far. All right, yeah, <laughs> it's I, better I than like no, that. better than no plan. So exactly. All right, well we'll cut the video right here. Appreciate you guys watching. If you want to drop a big thumbs up, appreciate that. Um, I'm going Monday, Tuesday to Crest, so stay tuned for some videos there. Monday they're doing a bunch of work here. Tuesday. Uh, cleanups. Don't say the site. I almost said the site. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, they're doing cleanups, and hopefully we'll get some more work lined up for the rest of the week. Yeah. Uh, we're like two, three weeks ahead of schedule weather-wise, so kind of getting caught with our pants down. Uh, and you're never going to get caught with your pants down. No. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Over now, guys. Have a great day. We'll catch up with you guys on the next one.